Hey guys, got a, another product review. As you guys know, I don't really do product reviews, so it has to be really good if I'm gonna do a review, and this is gonna be really good. As you know, my criteria are, it has to be a tool that really is gonna be a major game changer for a do-it-yourselfer, where it will greatly impact your ability to do the level of diagnostics we do on this channel, and it has to be within a price range that a do-it-yourselfer would be able to afford. We have a product that meets that criteria and then some. And that would be the X-Tool D7, comes in this nice carrying case. This is a bi-directional scan tool for under $400. That's right, bi-directional scan tool that works on all OBD2 models under $400. I was contacted about a year ago to do a review on this. I declined at the time. I had other commitments and just told them, hey, contact me in a year. Well, they contacted me a year later and said, you said you would consider it. When I actually used the tool and found how much it is under $400, uh, I am actually extremely excited to present this to you. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to overview the tool. We're going to show it in some actual demonstration. And then I'm going to show you another feature of this tool that I think is so significant. It takes your diagnostic ability to a whole new place, literally. Okay, so the X tool has a lot of functionality, an incredible amount. From the main screen, of course, you'd be familiar with diagnostics function, but we also have lots of special functions that are available that different vehicles may offer, things like electronic parking brake resets and TPMS resets, oil resets, all kinds of little service things here that normally you would have to do some type of manual procedure. And you see we have all of these here. You can even do power balance testing, something we cover in some other videos. Tons and tons of features that just in itself, you would expect a $400 scan tool may not be able to offer. That's on top of the diagnostics feature, we're going to go ahead and use a 2013 GMC Terrain here. We're going to see if it'll automatically detect, and it did, like instantly. All right, we can either do an automatic scan over the whole system or a system selection. This car's got a lot of computers on it. It would take a long time to do an automatic scan, but of course that will run through all the modules, look for any trouble codes in each module. What we're going to do to demonstrate this in a more practical application, and look, by the way, at all the modules that you can communicate with. You can control a transmission control module, parking brake, you can do HVAC instrument, body control, all these modules with bi-directional control, such a time saver. Let's go over here to engine control module. And of course, this all looks familiar, but here's what's different. As you guys are familiar, I've got quite a number of scan tools, but only a couple of them will offer bi-directional control. And that's the modus operandi of this channel is when you don't have bi-directional control, how can you test various components? And it can be very labor intensive. Well, not if you have this tool that would pay for itself on the first use. We go to actuation tests. These are all things that we can actuate remotely. We can turn on the fuel pump. You see that it gives some data values there that would be relevant. You can add more data to it. Going to hit on. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear the fuel pump is running. We can do easy cooling fan testing by turning relays on individually. There's high speed. We can see all kinds of data that would be associated with this particular bidirectional control test here. Huge time saver that we don't have to look at all of these circuits. We can just test it 
remotely in the vehicle. We have it even pop the hood and we can see cooling fan operation and get a good indication of where our diagnosis would be on a failed cooling fan issue if it was relay or if it was motor. I've got EVAP system testing. I have talked very much about how important this is the purge and seal command where you can easily do EVAP testing. We can change duty cycle of the purge valve including a complete seal of the system. Notice it's smart enough to include the fuel tank pressure so that we can do leaking purge valve diagnosis very easily as I described in a previous video. All of this without getting under the car examining those EVAP components by the gas tank or under the hood. We have still never opened the hood and we can do all kinds of diagnostic tests. Uh, here's another one that I like. The starter relay test can be really useful. In this case, we may have an application where we're not sure if it's going to be the starter relay, starter motor, or maybe an ignition switch problem. By just remotely activating starter relay, we can verify that the relay and the starter motor worked so we would know to focus our attention more towards ignition switch. Notice also with the length that it ran, we could do a relative compression test on this engine as well. More and more newer cars don't have starter relays. You've seen many videos where I will make my own starter remote switch and on a lot of newer cars you cannot do that and if the car doesn't have clear flood mode you now have to disable ignition or fuel in some way to make the car turn over like that without starting here with the tool you can just do it with the push of a button we still haven't opened the hood on this car of course like any other tool you've got tons of live data. This one has lots of categories of it as well to simplify if you're doing fuel testing or various solenoid testing. There are 72 engine parameters right there. We also can specify secondary air injection specifically. You can do control of course of a secondary air pump. Very, very useful. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to go to the body control module because as you guys know, uh, a lot of you guys will have no problem crawling around under a car with your DVOM or test light. You'll have no problem taking apart the engine to get to a solenoid to do a 5 volt reference check or something. But what you don't want to do is crawl around under the dashboard. Using the body control module, bi-directional control, you can do things that you just simply aren't going to be able to do otherwise. You just simply wouldn't be able to do it. We're going to do actuation test and uh, we can do windows, for example. We can control without taking a door panel off. Controlling the window up and down. How's my command from the BCM? How's my motor doing? If this window didn't go up and down, would you agree with me? You would start with the actual switch and not buy a motor or a BCM module for this thing. How useful is that without having to take a door panel off? In a previous video, I did a case study where we had a windshield wiper that was inoperative and we went to the steering wheel switch because at the time that's the technology that we had and went to look at a possible failed steering wheel wiper motor switch. It turned out it was not the switch, which of course I only found out after taking apart the steering wheel. Well, how easy is this that if we have this tool, we can just simply operate the wipers And we can see that obviously the wiper motor relay works, the wiper motor works, command from the BCM is working. In this case, if the motors didn't work, we would know the switch is not the problem. It's after the switch. Bidirectional control saves you over an hour with your diagnostic time just from pressing a couple of buttons. 
Also in the BCM, we have special functions here. You can see we can do various learns with the tire pressures, with uh, brake pedal position, all kinds of learns. Different vehicles will have different things available under this. All right, going back to the main screen, there's a couple things I want to show you, one of which is, like I said, a major game changer. But we can also go to report here. As you can see, you can play back data that you have recorded earlier. We can go into diagnostic report and you can get a history of the actions that you did with the scan tool. As you can see here on our demo, we can look at all the various things that we did and we would be able to see any data or any issues that we had identified. But one of the most exciting things I want to show you is the remote control. Let's talk about that one. All right, so actually at this time right now, I have a customer that has one of my scan tools with them because we're trying to diagnose an extremely intermittent problem that never happens when I have the car with me and we have tried literally for hours to find that. What I did was I gave them one of my scan tools and they set up and they record data on the scan tool hoping to catch the issue. Once they catch the issue, they can then bring the scan tool back to me. Hopefully I can analyze it and catch what's happening to diagnose when that issue occurs. Obviously some problems with that. Maybe the data selection when the issue is occurring isn't optimal and I may want to change that. Well, I miss the opportunity to do it. With the D7 from Xtool, you can remotely operate the scan tool over the internet from anywhere in the world. To me, this is one of the most exciting things about this tool, and I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. All right, on my computer, this is not a screen mirroring of the Xtool. This is the actual Xtool interface. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use my computer to go over to the diagnosis. And you can see we are actually functionally operating the X tool remotely using my laptop. Okay, we've got the vehicle running. In this case, the vehicle owner can be hundreds of miles away even. And what we're going to do is go to the engine control. All right, I don't even have to have the vehicle in the garage to do this. We can see all of our live data in real time. If I wanted to do any kind of actuation test, I don't even have to tell the person what to do over the phone or something like that. I can control everything. Let's say that I wanted to do a fuel trim analysis and I want to increase engine speed. Just by hitting the increase button, and you can see the engine speeds increasing. I can also do that in conjunction with a data stream. Bring up my fuel trims, increase here. How easy is this to do vacuum leak analysis from a different country? It actually works the opposite as well. If I control the screen here, you can see I would also be able to see it on the computer. Maybe you are a shop owner and you have a technician in the field and they are operating the tool and you want to see the data so you can give a second opinion. You can also do that as well. I think it's one of the most innovative functions there is, and I don't have any other scan tools that can do this. This is a major game changer. All right, there you have it, the Xtool D7. If you are interested in buying this tool, I have made it very simple. There is a link in the description. Just click the link. It will take you right to the Amazon page. Everything I have shown you here, and it works on all OBD2 vehicles, is available for under $400 at the time when I just checked before this video, there was a 20% off promotion. The tool was going for only $367 and you now have professional level capabilities for a do-it-yourselfer. 
All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time.